was an opportunity to tell a story in an interesting world that nobody had really gone into from the woman's point of view about the world and life and men and women and the differences between us and how we're treated and looked at differently for our choices. And for me, that was really interesting. I was like, okay, here's what's going on in the world and Wall Street and all that. And here's what's going on in the strip clubs and they're connected. And these men stealing people's livelihoods, their pensions, their, their, their life's work. And these girls stealing from these guys, they're stolen money and they go to jail and these guys get away with it. And the idea of how women are treated so incredibly differently, judged so much more harshly for their choices of survival. And also the greed part. The greed part was really, for me and my character, super interesting to play. That unapologetic, I'm gonna get mine no matter what, was something I had never explored in a character for me before. I've always played kind of the romantic comedy girl or you know, a cop you know, who's, yeah, she's kind of bad, but she's kind of really good. <laughs> Not Ramona, <laughs> not at all. Not Ramona. I mean, she loved people. She loved her daughter. She loved Destiny. Unexpectedly, fell in love with Destiny. Loved the girls, but she loved the money more. Yeah, the American dream, survival. When does survival turn to greed? Our sort of broken value system. And I just thought it was really an, a world that we had not explored in this way, and that that was what I found the most compelling, actually. When we had that camera test. And like you were there and you looked so amazing. And I was like, I don't know, what am I doing here? <laughs> kind of like destiny. And then I came up next to you to, to do the camera yep. test and you put your arm around me. Yep. And I instantly felt like, oh, big yeah, sister, yeah. little yeah. sister, like she's going to take care of me. And that's yeah. what she did on the whole set. That's when took. I had chills when I saw the two of yeah. you there together. She, she took care of everybody. Yeah, I think it's imp it was important for me to have a connection with her because I knew that the whole movie was about their friendship. The two of them... It, it it had to be an immediate connection, a chemistry. Yeah. And so from the first moment I met Constance, I just was like, I love you. Um, come here. I'm going to I'm going to we're going to be we're going to be friends. I wanted to bring together women from different walks of life, but different areas of entertainment was also really exciting to me. I think singers and musicians just have that natural rhythm and timing and and it was just a beautiful thing to see all of them coexist in the same movie together. People really think that women are super competitive with each other, and, and at times we can be. But the truth is, when we do get together, it's like a love fest in high school. It's all love. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, and we could be you free. You get a bunch of girls together. We all have vaginas. Yeah. We all, we're all just girls. We're all just girls at the end, and that's how you feel. And when you're, you're part of something like that, and there's, you know, 25 girls in the room, and we're in that small locker room where we're laughing and having a good time and grabbing each other and having fun and hugging each other and laughing and trying to make each other laugh. It's a, it, it's a beautiful thing. And women working together is probably one of the most fun times that I've had in, in my career in every facet of it. And this was kind of like the epitome of that. We'd play a lot of this stuff in the trailer all the time. It's like, what are we listening to today? And we put on Britney, bitch. And we just go off and do our hair and makeup and everything. It was so much fun. The music for me, obviously, being a musician, being an, uh, a recording artist, uh, it, it's always so important what I was going to dance to, which we hadn't chosen because it was a scene that was added later uh, for Ramona's entrance. And I was like, what about Wicked Game? There's a version of Wicked Game that uh, is a woman's version. I sent it to Lorena. She said, what about Criminal by Fiona Apple? And I was like, hmm, I've been a bad, bad girl. I was like... I love it. <laughs> Let's do it. That's Perfect. exactly what she is. Yeah. So the first time you see her, she's like dancing to criminal. And it's like just, it's just such a perfect thing. This is a story about control. At least for Destiny, I saw three moments that were about control. The beginning, and the, the metaphor really for her is the car, right? She's going home in a taxi and somebody else is driving the car. Society is driving the car, telling. And then in the middle, once she meets Ramona, she buys the car. She loves the car so much that she wants to buy the car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then at the end, when things start falling apart, she has this nightmare where she's trying to control the steering wheel, but she can't do it. Exactly. And I think it's, for Destiny, it is a dream because it's an illusion. Control is an illusion for her. She thinks once I get 
find love with Ramona, with this person, that like everything will fall into place. And it's just like, things are more complex than that. Obviously I'm flattered. You work so hard your whole career. You know, I, I've done so many movies and I've done so many roles that, you know, I've learned to kind of not do it for anything except because I love doing it. And so when something like that happens and people are like, hey, this is me, you're just like, wow. It's like it brings tears to your eyes because you're like, oh, somebody like what I did. I love doing this. It doesn't matter. But it does matter. It does. It does make you feel like, wow, all my hard work is is being recognized. And that's nice. So acting is hard physically, emotionally, psychologically on you. I mean, it's long hours. Sometimes, you know, the things that I've had to learn, I've had to learn Krav Maga, obviously pole dancing, ballroom dance. I've had to learn so many things for different movies that I've done. I've had to learn how to sing in Spanish when I did Selena. There's so many different roles that I've done um, that have, you know, even action movies that I've done, you know, where I'm like, I still have scars on my body from some of the movies that I've done, um, from fights, <laughs> you know, uh, play, you know that you're not supposed to get hurt, but you do. It's 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 a challenging it's a challenging profession in that way. But I again, I love it. I throw myself into it um, and it's it's exciting for me. That's what it should be. I think you should leave each project with a scar or two inside or out. Doesn't matter. <laughs> but it, then, you know, you gave a little piece of yourself to yeah. it. I mean, there was so much strength that required so much training to do that dance. And I mean, for even someone like Jennifer who dances every day. I like, when I go upside down, make sure you see my face so they know it's me. Because <laughs> I don't want them to say, that was a double. I said, I don't care if my face looks crazy. Just make sure you <laughs> work for that. She sure did. When I lift myself up there, I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> After the fifth time we did, I was like, "Lord, yeah, no, I'm about to break my." You shoulder. did it. You committed every time. Yes, yes, I had to. But it was great. It was fun.